<clears throat> okay, just want to say hello um, today. I'm going to show you how I made this frame. This is a picture frame of that I've made. It's got hamburgers, hot dogs, corn and cob, ribs, all those good barbecue things. And there's a picture of my brother. This is his birthday gift. Okay. Alrighty. I'm moving it back and forth in case these lights are affecting it. You know, it's a 3D effect. All the hamburgers are rounded. The corners rounded. The letters are raised. It says, uh, um, Grill master. Okay. So, first thing I did was I went to the computer, I got a picture, and I made a picture. Okay. The next thing I did was I went online and I looked online for pictures of hamburgers and hot dogs and whatever else, corn and ribs. And I couldn't, uh, and I figured, well, I'd try to print them out. And, but instead of printing them out, it, it just wasn't going to work out. So what I did was I drew my own. I saw how they they did theirs. There's some hot dogs and hamburgers and corn and I made a lot of these. I made probably 30 or 40 hot dogs and hamburgers. And then I because uh, I wasn't sure how I was going to make it. I was going to try to layer it like uh, I made. I just recently made a picture frame out of all leaves and I. I layered the leaves. I put leaves on top of leaves so I had parts of leaves. And I figured I did the same thing with the hamburgers and the hot dogs and all. But it just didn't look right. And so I asked my wife to give me a hand. And so this is the final design we came up with. She said actually less is more. And in this case I kind of had to agree. Okay. So what I did is I took these little cutouts and we glued them. Or, you know, just glued them all around. I used a glue stick and I put them all around the picture and a predetermined thing that my wife and I had figured out that we wanted to do. Then I took this whole thing and I laid it on top, I put it in my uh, printer, made a copy of it, and actually I made about five or six copies. Okay, and so so this is what I have. Now I have a copy, five or six copies, just like this. And so what I did was I cut this copy up. I cut down both sides, so I got all the hamburgers and hot dogs on one side. I cut across the top, so I got Grill Master. Then I took another copy, and I cut all the way from side to side. Okay? And I just cut the bottom off. Okay? And then I took these pieces, and I, and I glued them to stacks of wood. Now, the three types of wood I used here was maple, mahogany, and uh, pine. Pine accepts stains real easy. So it's a very nice wood to stain with. Mahogany looked like it would be the color of the hamburger. And the maple, well, it doesn't accept stain. It's a hardwood, and it doesn't really accept stain very well. Okay? So I got these strips out, and I nail them together. You can use double-sided tape, but that runs into money. And just makes it harder to work with when you're going to take them apart. And that double-sided tape is difficult to get off. So I just put a few nails around the outside edge. I took my strips, I took Elmer's glue, just a white glue, and I put glue on the back of the paper strips that I cut out from this picture. And I glued them to the top, set them aside, and let them dry. Once they were dry, I drilled a few holes. And you can see, maybe you can see here or not, but there was a hole here, and this is where a hamburger was. And I cut the hamburger out. And then over here I cut the hot dog out. And here was the ear of corn. And I went right down the le I went right down all of them. You know, the two sides that I cut out and all the hamburgers for the bottom, I cut them all out. So when I got them cut all out, of course, I had three hamburgers and this one here. I had three hot dogs, three ears of corn. Uh, if you wanted, you wouldn't have to use three layers. It just that I wanted to use a variety of woods to give me the different textures and different colors I wanted. You could just use it with one frame, uh, one layer of wood, or two layers of wood, or three layers of all the same wood. And you could make three frames at one time just by stacking. Okay? So once I get all these pieces cut out, then what I had to do is I had to remove the paper from the top layer. Because you see it's still glued on there. And it's glued on to the pieces that were on top. So how you get that off is you take a paintbrush, take some water, 
and you paint the, the paper with water and you wait a couple minutes. And after a couple minutes passes, you take this razor, and that's just a little straight razor, one edge is sharp, and I scrape it along this way and the paper rolls right off. Okay? And you might, even after you get the paper off, maybe wet it again and scrape it again, you'll get more of the glue off if you put a lot of glue on. After they dry, you take a pen knife and you round all the edges to the hot dogs and the pieces of hamburger. I mean, I, all the buns are separate from the hot dogs and everything else. It's like a great big puzzle that you've actually made. It's kind of like in Tarshan. I, I guess it is in Tarshan in a way. Okay, so after you've done that, you, you round your edges, you sand everything, and that gets rid of the remainder of the glue. Okay, so now I've got all these pieces. So now what I've done is I went out and I got myself a little um, acrylic artist set. Okay, and this is water cleanup. Well, anything that uses water, you can use alcohol in. And that's what I used for my vehicle. I used the alcohol. It's just denatured alcohol. You can get it at Lowe's or Home Depot. Put a dab of the color, squeeze a dab of the color out into one of these trays. I mix a little alcohol with it with my brush. And I painted the stuff. And the alcohol evaporates really quickly, so the stuff dries really fast. Okay. And being that it dries real fast, like that, and then you're not using water. If you used water for your vehicle, um, a lot of times that will raise the grain of the wood, and then you'll have to re-sand it. Or when you get to put a finish cut on it, it'll be real rough. So I used alcohol for the two reasons. One, it won't raise the grain, and the second one is it dries real fast. Uh, one thing I did forget to tell you, prior to uh, staining, if you take a close look at the hot dogs and the hamburgers. I'll move it in really close and we'll take a look here. You see the black lines on there? Well, I took a wood burner and I burnt those lines on there. Now you can use anything. I used a wood burner in the beginning and at the end I used a solder gun. You can always use a screwdriver, heat it up real hot and lay it on the wood and that will burn the lines in there. But it makes it look like it's been on the grill. Okay? So now I've got everything painted. Okay? Uh, all my pieces painted. The next thing I had to do is I had to make the front of the frame. Well, I'm going to glue all these pieces to it. So I had to get another another picture. And what I did here is I started, just to show you, I outlined the hamburger on the outside and the hot dog. And I didn't do all the individual pieces to bun. I just went around the outside and I went around the inside. Okay. I, t I did the same thing as I used the white glue. I glued it to a piece of 8 inch plywood, Baltic birch. You can get them out of your hobby store or you can order it online. And then I drilled a, drilled a few holes like I did with the other and I cut it out. And so this is the shape that you got. Now this is one of my goof offs. This is after it's been painted, but yours would just be plain plywood, okay? Alright, and so now when you go to glue your, your hamburgers on there, your hot dogs or whatever it is that you've decided to make, You've got, you know exactly where to put it on the frame so you get the same look. Okay, now, your hamburger and your hot dogs, they're multiple pieces, same way with the ear of corn. Some of my ears of corn are four pieces, uh, some of the hot dogs are, uh, you see I've got five pieces in one of them. So, uh, and the hamburgers. So, how do you get all those little pieces together? You get yourself a piece of wax paper. You get yourself some, some, I use tight bond, it's like a super glue for wood, but you could use any, any sort of quick setting glue. You could even use regular carpenter's glue if you want, if you have the patience. And I laid a piece of wax paper out, and I stacked, I got my hamburger all stacked like it should, and I pulled it apart a little bit, and I squirted some of this glue in there, and I quick squeezed it all together, and I held it. And you hold it for about a minute or so, down on the wax paper. And the wax paper will peel off. Okay, and if it doesn't peel off, don't worry, because you can lay it on a piece of sandpaper, rub it back and forth, and it will come off. Okay, so now that you have a complete hamburger, when you go to glue it on the frame, you can set a complete hamburger there, or a complete hot dog. You don't have to worry about trying to get all the little pieces lined up, so it's best to assemble the hamburgers and the hot dogs anyway, all together, and then place them on the frame. Okay. So, once everything was placed on the frame, uh, of course, I, I stained my frame on the sides, okay, 
you have to make the back of the frame. In the back of the frame, it's just another piece of plywood, okay? And I glued a little 5 by 7 strip, the same size as a picture, and I glued little strips on here, okay, around the edge, on three sides. This is one of my goof-ups, okay? And then this part gets placed on here, and you glue it together. And then you put the pieces on there, okay? That's after it's glued and painted. I only use stain here. Here this is paint, okay? So, basically that's the way you assemble it. And when I've got all done, assembling everything, uh, the stain I used was a Minwax stain. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice oil stain. It goes on and it dries pretty quick. After I get everything assembled, okay, what I did is I went and used some lacquer clear lacquer. I like to use some satin. I don't like the shiny, but you could use shiny or flat or the satin. And so, <clears throat> anyway, I take it outside because this stuff will really make you high. Anyway, when I sprayed it, it, it makes the colors much darker and uh, it, it gives it some shine. So there's the project. I hope I made things pretty clear. Now, I'm not very good at this, but uh, I'm not very good at making things either, but it took me uh, about two tries on some things and three on others in order to finish this fr this frame. I'll we'll just give you a real good close up. There it is again. It's a very nice uh, birthday gift. Uh, if you have any questions, you can contact me, uh, email me at aa2ct2 at gmail.com. And I'll be glad to answer any of your questions. And uh, I hope you have fun making one, if you make one like this. Now remember, you can do it with anything. You can put lollipops around it, or, or fish, or cars, or whatever it is that you like. And let your imagination run wild. It's really a lot of fun. Okay, well that's about it.